Okay, so analysis of allowance for doubtful accounts or allowance for bad debts. So actually dito, kukumpitin natin 2 years. 2020 and 2021 to determine kung nag, uh, magkano yung decrease. So first, let's compute 2021. So basically, this is analysis of the allowance for uh, doubtful accounts. So pwedeng iti account or in this case, plus minus tayo. Okay, so first, let's compute accounts written off in 2021. So start from allowance for bad debts beginning. So beginning as of December 31, 2020, 60,000. The policy of an entity is to debit bad debt expense for 3% of all new sales. So the method is percent of sales. So for 2021, sales times 3%. So bad debt or doubtful accounts expense in 2021 2420 times 3%. So effect on allowance increase. Okay, minus natin yung allowance for bad debts ending 75. So pending the account. So beginning plus expense less ending. So yung debit balancing figure yun yung debit side. So that is okay the accounts written off in 2021. So do the same for 2020. Okay, so start from allowance for bad debts beginning. So beginning of 2020 that's December 31, 19. Add The bad debt expense in 2020. So that's 3,120 times 3%. Minus ending. So that's December 31, 2020 balance. So beginning plus increase expense minus ending. Okay. So beginning plus expense less ending. So yung balancing figure yun yung debit side the accounts written off and that's 89600 so in 2021 57600 only in 2020 896 so compared to 2020 accounts written off in 2021 decreased by 32000 okay so 17 letter c Okay. So by the way, ha, in the last examination, yan. Okay. So even sa auditing problems, so talagang uh, mag-analyze ka doon ng uh, allowance for doubtful accounts. 